Hey everyone, welcome to another digital layout class at basicgrade.com. For this class we'll be using the starter kit from the Alyssa collection. And for this one I'm going to be using some photos of my little niece Marianne. Uh, this photo was taken um, just over a year ago. She was only four months old at the time. And she's just adorable. I love her. This is a baby girl layout, but you could easily change the title to whatever you'd want and just make it kind of a girly layout in general. I think it'd be really cute for any little girl, but I'm going to be using these pictures of my niece. So here's what the layout looks like, and I'm going to minimize it to get it out of the way so I can start working. I'm going to start out with a new document, and I need to have it be... 12 inches by 12 inches at 300 pixels per inch. I'll hit OK. All right, the first thing we're going to do is drag on this background paper. Get that on there. And the next thing we're going to do is take on the die cut paper as well. And when you just drag it over from the project bin, it puts it right in the center of the layout. And we're just going to let it stay there. Okay, next we're going to put the photos on because we want the photos on there so we can get kind of a size relation with the green band. So I've got these photos right here. The square one is cropped to 1.6 inches wide by 1.7 inches tall. And that's so that it'll fit inside the frame just perfectly. And this one is a regular 4x6 photo. I'm going to go ahead and drag that over. Okay, and I'm going to open the small frame because it's easier to get this one uh, onto the frame inside. Okay, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys to kind of get it in there just right. Okay. And then I'll take both, I'm selecting both layers and dragging from the layers palette over into our documents. Okay, I'm going to lock those layers right now. I'm going to link them together so that they'll always be moving together. And that's so that they don't, it doesn't come out of the frame. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and hit the green check mark. All right, now we need the other frame. And it actually has these two um, vertical bars and these two panes and we're going to take those out so select your marquee tool the rectangular marquee tool and in order to do this really carefully I'm going to zoom in and select it just right at the point and we hit delete it looks like it took off just a little bit too much I don't know if you can see that it took off a little bit too much so I'll back that up and using my arrow keys I'm going to slide that marquee tool down. Now it's right at the area we need it. I'll hit delete. Okay and then I'm going to move this down. I'll go ahead and zoom in. And once again use my arrow keys to bring it up to the perfect point. I'll hit delete. And then we can draw a new rectangle to get rid of the other ones. Perfect. Okay. Now I can drag this over into the layout. And I'm going to rotate it. And I'm going to hold down the shift key so it will snap to a 90 degrees rotation. Hit green check mark. All right. And now I'm going to come and place it over this photo. And once again, I'm going to zoom in so I can see to make sure that it's on the photo just perfectly. It looks like I need to nudge it down just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. All right, and over on the layers palette, I'm gonna minimize that one. Over on the layers palette, I'm going to select the photo and the frame and I will lock those together as well or link them together so they'll always be moving together. Okay, perfect. All right, now we're going to add the green bar and we're going to do that by dragging the green paper over onto our document. 
okay. I'm going to slide this over a little bit because I don't want the uh, distressing edge there. Okay, I'm going to take the, I think this is the lasso tool, the poly, polygonal lasso tool. And actually, before we do that, we're going to get just the regular rectangle tool. And it looks like we can probably go about like that. Come up to select, inverse, and delete everything outside. Okay, now I'll take that uh, lasso tool and I'm just going to click once to get it started and then click again to draw a line. And, if, and then you can double click to close the shape. I'll delete it and that just leaves an angle on that. I think it's kind of a nice angle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slide these photos over while I'm thinking about it. That one needs to go about there. That one will be going about right there. I'm gonna, I better drag both of these layers on top. Lovely. Okay, now we need the dot border. Uh, drag that one in. It's going to go down about right here. This time I'm going to have it be all the way to the edge so that the distressing on the border kind of blends in. Use my arrow keys to get it in there just right. And I'll use the lasso tool once again to get a nice angle. And then double click, close it, and hit delete. Lovely. All right, time for some flowers. I'm going to go ahead and drag this flower on, move it to the very top. And using my move tool, I'll bring it down here to the bottom. Looks like it needs to be a little bit smaller, so I'll go ahead and click and drag to make it just a tiny bit smaller. Hit the green check to lock that in. And I'll bring over the other flower as well. And that one needs to be a little bit smaller. Okay. All right, now we're going to bring over the Sweet Baby title. Oh, our one. Gotta be careful when you're selecting this one. Bring that over about right there. I'm gonna slide it up a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna add the monograms that say girl. So I'm gonna open these up. And using my marquee tool, I will select a G. I'm copying. I'm doing Command C or on a PC you would do Control C for copy. Come over to our document and I'm pasting. Looks like it put it on the very bottom, so I'm just going to drag it to the top. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to grab an I, copy, paste, R, paste, and L. Okay, so while I have all of the letters selected, I'm going to use the move tool and move them just up and right underneath Sweet Baby. All right, and then I can move each letter out. And I'm holding down the shift key while I move them to the right or left. And that's so that I can keep them all kind of on the, on the right plane. have to get these in the right order. Okay. And 
Now I'll select all of the letters and I will link them together so they'll move together as a group. Just slide that in right there. Alright, we're going to add a date area. And there's two in, in the file. There's a pink and a green, but we just want the pink one. So I'll select it, copy. I'm going to move that down here right below the photo and below the border. Now we'll add some journaling. So I'm going to zoom in on this area down below. Draw my text box. And I've already copied and pasted or copied the text from the other layout. So I'm just going to paste that in. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is add shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and select the die cut later layer, the die cut paper, and I'll hit low to add a shadow. And then I'll adjust the shadow to 10, 5, and 40. Then I'm going to right click on that layer. Uh, copy layer style and then I can go to all the other layers and paste the layer style. Okay and there's the finished layout. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.